I've known Ali for many years, and we both had this uh, idea at the same time to do this sort of revival of old-time radio you know, dramas. We started out at, in 2011 just doing it, the two of us, in the back of a venue in Queens called the LIC Bar. We had a microphone, we had my voice, we had our brains. And an iPod with you know, crude sound effects. And an iPod. <laughs> and they had a fireplace, and I gave the, uh, the company its namesake. We called it Fireside Ghost Stories, and it gradually evolved into Fireside Mystery Theater. We at Fireside feel that uh, acting for what we call the theater of the mind or radio is different from acting for the stage or for the camera, largely because you have to do everything just with sound, with your voice, with um, timber, pitch, pace, all that stuff, rather than actually relying on physical gestures or anything like facial expression. Oh, oh Em, Em, what's wrong? Oh, oh, oh you're trembling. Poor oh dear, what, what's wrong? Say rock! Wait, what, the statue? It... It... It blinked! It blinked! What? Oh, are you sure now? I... Oh, I'm... No, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for it. There seems to be... I'm scared, a, Geraldine. Oh. I'm sure I saw it. I saw it! Darling, it's... I also love being British. Uh, and it's fun because there's a, all different kinds of British accents, of course, as there are in any country. But, uh, you know, it, it's fun to get to differentiate and say, like, oh, well, this character, you know, it, it doesn't make sense for them to be posh. They have to be a little more low class, and so I should use a little of this. And I get to pull some of that expensive grad school education out and <laughs> give it some use. <laughs> I'm an avid podcast listener. I have been ever since probably 2008. I've been listening, to, I listen to podcasts every day and I knew that this show would be perfect for a podcast. It's tailor-made to just be heard in the first place. Mm -hmm. So uh, we figured out some logistical stuff and eventually we recorded something at the Slipper Room, which has a fantastic sound system, and people really seem to be enjoying it. What? What? What, what did you see? Oh, ignore this, boom. We all heard this mumbo jumbo already. He ain't been sober since Taft was president. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> it's true. You don't have to believe me, but it's true, I tell you. Well, what did you see, sir? I saw them, men's and women. Must have been 40 of them, maybe more. They were dancing. Just taking uh, this experience and that is kind of a, an old-fashioned harkening back to a, a golden age of radio um, and putting it into this modern medium um, is what makes it unique and any audience member who comes through our door for a performance can be part of that with us. I'm just happy to not be named Bubba. <laughs> now, 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 I think the, the excellent drinks and humidity are just getting us a little riled up. Oh, right, Delphine? Mm. She didn't mean anything by it. Well, I'm sorry we don't have the miracle of central air yet, Delphine. You can use my fainting couch upstairs if you're feeling a tizzy coming on. He asked me how long Ironically, I have a background in music. I'm a musician. I'm better established as someone in the music world. Uh, but Ali uh, pushed early on to have more of a musical component that I didn't originally uh, envision. As another character. Right. A man put his hand on my arm And I said I must go west again So head west from here, and when you see the river, take it south. On down past Baton Rouge by Old Man River's mouth. You won't find my woman, but just spread what I said around. You should have drug me up to Memphis and buried me in the ground. Cause down in the bayou, you can't keep a dead man down. organically and continue to grow organically from our very first show uh, as we said with a mic a fireplace and an iPod and some really terrific stories to really wanting to uh, um, uh, stretch ourselves people come to see this show and many of them 
the first time they see it, the one thing they tell us at the end of the show is, I've never seen anything like this before. Good night.